We're often asked about the hardness of our stones and how they do in the bucket. So let me show you a real quick test that we do. <laughs> she doesn't think I'm gonna leave it, but I'm gonna. Let me show you a real quick test that we do with some optical calcite for an example. I was able to get my hands on a really stunning batch of optical calcite and I really wanna put it in the bucket, but I have to make sure that it's gonna make it to you safely. We're most commonly asked how do certain crystals do in water and are they water safe? I mean, truth is it took water for Mother Nature to make all of these crystals, so these are all safe for a rinse. Remember, we don't ship these in water, we ship them in sand. So here's a batch of our optical calcite that's been sitting in water for 24 hours and it's coming out looking pristine, hasn't swelled, hasn't shed, hasn't moved. So you would think that this is good enough to go into the bucket. Actually, it's not. All crystals are rated on something called the Mohs Hardness Scale. So they'll have a different number as to how hard the stone actually is. And because we ship them in sand, we wanna make sure that they're gonna do well. Believe it or not, optical calcite does pretty well in our clean filtered sand. What it doesn't do well with is a harder stone. Take yellow jasper for instance, this has a hardness of around six and a half to seven. And if you put that on top of optical calcite, it's gonna leave a pretty decent scratch. So we do our best to keep our table with like hardnesses. So every once in a while, when we come across a softer stone that's really cool and we wanna put it into the bucket, we simply put it into a little bit of a bubble wrap seal it shut and stick it right in the bucket. So that way you're not stuck with just quartz and jasper in your buckets. Now that's science.